In our morning rounds, a new approach to fighting multiple sclerosis. The disease where the body attacks its own central nervous system. MS affects about 400,000 people in the U.S. It is two to three times more common among women. Current treatments may have severe side effects and there is no cure. Our Dr. Tara Narula shows us a cutting edge but low tech attempt to slow the symptoms. Good morning. Good morning. It involves the diet and the microbiome, bacteria that live mostly in our digestive tract, unique to us as a fingerprint. Research now underway at New York's Mount Sinai Hospital is studying how food might be used as medicine to combat the disease. We'll just go around and, and hear an update from everyone. Once a month, this pioneering group of MS patients meets to get tips from a nutritionist. When grains are refined, they're stripped of this outer layer. And share their temptations. I was craving a hamburger or something terrible the other night. They had lobster crabs and there was just no way I was going to pass that off. <laughs> <laughs> Neurologist Ilana Katzand is leading one of the first clinical trials to study the link between what we eat gut bacteria, and MS symptoms. Why did you decide to investigate diet and its link to MS? The gut is actually kind of a natural place to look, and that's because the immune system, about 70% of it, lives inside the gut and has far-reaching implications throughout the rest of the body. In MS, inflammation occurs when immune cells attack the brain and spinal cord. This study is testing whether a dietary intervention can reprogram the immune system to slow down the assault on itself. So this right here is a very typical looking spot for MS. Corrine Providence and the other patients enrolled in the trial are following a strict Mediterranean style diet. No processed food, dairy or meat, but lots of fruits, vegetables and whole grains. Why did you choose that type of diet? We think that those are anti-inflammatory. We also think that they're neuroprotective. Symptoms like fatigue, difficulty walking, vision problems and cognitive changes can be severe and disabling. But it can take a very heavy toll on patients. I was really fearful because, you know, I have a family, I have my children, I have my husband and I felt like as if my life would just be over. With the help of medication, Corrine is still able to work nights as an oncology nurse, four years after her diagnosis. Okay, have a pleasant day. For her, sticking to the diet is a small sacrifice for better health. No chocolate chip cookies, no dairy, no vanilla ice cream that I love so much. But I mean, if I can participate in a diet that can change my life, give me longevity, um, give me a piece of how I was before, I don't mind. <laughs> Thank you for everything. You're welcome. This is a small study of about 30. It will be six months before researchers know if the diet has any measurable impact on MS symptoms, though some in the group already report more energy. Researchers are also looking at quality of life, blood pressure, cholesterol, and weight loss. All right, another reason Grains are a good thing. See, well, <laughs> but a yes. world with no chocolate chip cookie, I don't know, Dr. Taranarula. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. You are what you eat. You are what you eat indeed.